Hello everyone and welcome to Adam Shah Weekly. I'm super excited to present you a brand new course, Reactive Programming in iOS using Combine Framework. Now for the coupons and links to the course, check out the YouTube description. And now let's go ahead and see the promo video for the course. Hello everyone and welcome to Reactive Programming in iOS using Combine. I will be your instructor, Mohammad Azam. Let's go ahead and check out the contents of this course. You're going to be start learning about difference between reactive and imperative programming. We're going to learn about immutable versus mutable control flow and also synchronous and asynchronous task. Next, you'll be learning about how to create and work with publishers, subscribing to publishers, handling subscription life cycles, and even error handling and completion. After that, we'll be looking into operators. We will learn about transformation operators, filtering operators, combining operators, and even error handling operators. Next, we will learn about subjects. Subjects are special things in Combine that can be both publishers as well as subscribers. You will learn about pass-through subject and current value subject, and even creating your own custom subjects. We will also learn about networking using Combine. And you will see that how different networking with Combine is as compared to a regular, mostly imperative approach. You will learn about different functions like map, decode, receive, erase to any publisher. And we will also learn about handling errors, retries, and even combining multiple network requests together. After learning all the building blocks of Combine, we are going to put our knowledge to test by implementing a UI kit application using Combine and networking. We are going to be consuming the OMDB API where we can fetch all the different movies based on the search criteria determined by the user. Next, we will implement the same movies application, but this time using the power of Swift UI framework. You are going to learn that how Swift UI and Combine goes together and makes your life very easy when writing networking application using Combine. We are also going to be learning how to create HTTP client as well as setting up our publisher and even loading their images. Finally, you're going to learn about custom operators, debugging, and even testing combined code. You're gonna start with testing simple publisher, but eventually you'll see that how you can write combined code for networking and even write tests to accommodate your networking code by testing it. I'm so excited that you have decided to take this course. So if you're ready, let's get started.